And now for your COVID-19 update. The number of worldwide coronavirus cases has reached 16,613,853. This is according to Worldometer. Meanwhile, the deaths have risen to 655,569, with recoveries at 10,212,510. As of July 27, 19 new cases have been recorded, according to DPI, with 389 confirmed cases, 20 deaths, 400, that should be 4,416 tests conducted, and 188 in institutional isolation, 34 in institutional quarantine, and 181 recovered. recovered. Meanwhile, the Ministry of Public Health, through its COVID-19 dashboard, my apologies, it has recommended that individuals adhere to all necessary precautions in order to stop the spread of the virus. Port Morant vendors have revealed that the fruits and vegetable subsector is suffering because of coronavirus pandemic. The vendors stressed that consumer purchases are declining at a troubling pace, which leaves them on many occasions with no choice but to discard good produce or sell them at a loss. As a result of the decline in sales and profit margins, many of the vendors related that they have been pleading with the authorities to pay a reduced stallholder's fee. It is understood that the vendors are expected to pay $300 a day. This is provided that they are selling on a daily basis. But even this seemingly small sum is now costly for some vendors. Coming from the CNN, U.S. medical experts are arguing, are urging, sorry, the country to shut down after the country recorded more than 1,000 daily deaths for four straight days. The U.S. has reported more than 4.2 million cases. The first phase three clinical trial of a coronavirus vaccine in the U.S. started today. And China recorded 57 local cases on Sunday, the largest number the country has seen since it brought the virus largely under control in March.